Up a little? <laughs> and it's That's like pretty off. good. Oh, that helps. Ah! What was? I think we lost. That was stay on for so long, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian, Brian Man Peacock. And introducing Random Grenades. Yep, well. Say also, something! Also known as Junkrat. Nope, that's a character in Overwatch. Um, also known as. Kimberly. What? Kimberly! Kimberly, that's right. My fiance. You guys know her from Overwatch, all the Overwatch videos. Get off your phone. <laughs> Speaking of phones, where's my phone? Put that away. Is everyone's phones muted? No. No, where's my phone? My phone. I need my phone to be unmuted. No. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to say. Maybe we should explain can't. why our phone should be you unmuted. can't tell. Yeah, you're right. I can tell from over there, from the window. Hurricane Irma's on its way. We're getting ready to be ready to wrecked. We're not getting wrecked. Hopefully not. I'm not getting wrecked. We might be getting wrecked. Fuck this hurricane. If no, so, you can't. That's part of the set. Put it down. <laughs> no. Get the hell out of here. Where's you at? Right there? We're professional here. Apparently. So that that's your stuff. This is my stuff. It's the Minecraft pig. Then you have Harley Quinn. Ah! My teddy. I hate Freddy. So... This I is just get it. Is it working? I think I it's working. I think we're recording. It should pop up any second now. That's in like 20 minutes. Is it really? There is a crazy, crazy delay I found out last night. Why don't you want me to check it? I can. I you can no check it. Out. Go for it. What is the website that I go to? <laughs> Twitch.tv slash best in the realm. Do, 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 oh, do, do, TV. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you got it. it. Apparently, you can go to twitch.com slash best in the realm. Yeah, they probably bought all the dots. That's good. Let's see if we're actually on here. Enjoying the show? We oh, are oh, oh, live. Start watching. And oh, is the Xbox is being stupid. Oh, yeah, there we are. Just leave that open because we'll, we'll have the chat. Xbox is just being stupid. Okay. So, we are live. Yep. Hurricane yeah. Irma's on its way. Can we see how many people are watching? Uh, maybe? Go down some. That's how many have watched. Why don't you go ahead and share it on all these things? I uh, will. So there we are. i to bring that up. Nope, you know what? It's a terrible idea. Why is this Close. Idea? Close, because I have not muted the TV yet. Oh. This is a super professional production. Mute? Is it red because it's yep, muted? It's muted. It's muted. Alright, now we can bring it up. We can bring up the elephant in the room. Unicorn. A unicorn in the room, that's right. Okay, so Hurricane Irma is on its way. We are. We're not going to say where we are. Well, we're in Citrus County, Florida. We're not going to say where we are. But where we are is so right gonna... in the path. Uh, yeah. Except for the last... It looks like it's just kind of been sitting there by Cuba. But this is not a weather show. so Right. So we're hunkered down here. We're, we got tons of food, tons of water, lots of friends. Tons of ice. Tons of ice, yes. We got how many pounds of ice last 132. night? 132. 132 pounds of ice. <laughs> We filled a trash can and a couple bags. Giant trash can. And we put it in our washing machine. That's right. Put it in the washing machine because that's where apparently that's where ice goes. Yep, it is now. When you have when your freezer is only about this big by about this big, <laughs> you put your ice in your washing. What he's saying is he owns an old timey ice box. So <laughs> we have to put ice in the ice box to keep the ice going. It's just a vicious cycle. Actually, yeah, we should kind of cycle some ice into the washer. Maybe we can oh, put yeah. some more in there. But then it's just going to drain out and be gone. 
Once the hurricane comes and the power goes out, then we'll put more ice in the washer. Right? No, because if we put more ice in the washer now, we can make more ice while we still have power. And we're still doing video. Right. Maybe we should go get another 132 pounds of ice. I think so. Well, now, <laughs> now we have water in there. Yeah. We have non-potable water in our trash can, which was brand new. So We have was, water in our right. trash can. Yep. And we have <laughs> bottles of water. We have drinking water, non-potable water. We have water in our trash can, and we're happy about it, said the Floridians. The only people ever to say that. Water in our trash can and ice in our washing machine. That's right. <laughs> That's the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a country song. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got water in my trash can and ice in my washing machine. Well, the only talking. country songs I've ever heard are like that. Pretty much. How about you? No nope, don't forget the dog drowned in the trash can though. Oh yeah. Let's not talk about that though. And what? the uh, and his wife know. ran away because there's ice <laughs> oh. in the washing machine. Just like the ice in her veins. <laughs> because, okay, I got you. So yeah, the dog yeah. drowned in the garbage can. The wife ran away because he ruined the washing machine. Yep. Let's hope the ice doesn't ruin the washing machine. We're going to have to actually write a country song now. <laughs> or I'm going to have to not tell my landlord I put ice in the washing machine and he's going to have to come fix it. Yeah, don't tell him we did that. <laughs> Someone they can actually find. Yeah, <laughs> he's scary. not going to look. He's not going to watch this. Let's hope not. I should probably mute my computer, huh? Yes, please. Mute it. All right, let's do that. Magnetic miniatures. Let's look at that as Kickstarters. So we don't have a whole lot of topics today. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of topics ever, do we? There's a cat behind us. Oh, hi, Paige. Not Paige the Wrestler, surprisingly. Not surprising. Oh, wait. We can't talk about wrestling in this show. Or can we? we can Only play. Irma. Only Ah! Only gonna talk about Irma? Yep. Okay, so it's headed right for us. We're all gonna drown. Those are really cool. Save the books. Yes, we did save most of Jess's books. Put them up high, hit them. You know Jess from the last episode of the Future Vi- Future Heels podcast, where she she uh, gave her in her take on the uh, May Young classic. Yep. You are distracted over here. It is oh. looks cool. What is this? Kickstarter.com slash projects. Oh, shit. It's a Zero Gravity a Magnetic Miniatures game. Yeah. And there's like a box that you play in, and the box is magnetic, and it looks like the miniatures can play on all sides of the box. Wow. The bottom, the sides, the top. That's rad. Pretty cool. Now, if the game is good, that would be really cool. I don't know, because I'm not watching the videos or anything yet, but it... Not yet. We'll check that out later. Um, $106 to get the game on Kickstarter. Interesting. So what else have you been up to? What have I been up to? Yeah, since the last episode. Anything interesting? Watch some more Rick and Morty? I rewatched a lot of Rick and Morty. Rewatched? Damn. Because I... it's fun to watch and I just kind of put it on. Someone's in our... Oh, <laughs> Someone's in our table. No, some cat, not someone. Cat. <laughs> Get out of here. She's going to wreck it. No, oh, I hope not. She's like, I want to be a part of the set. Wait. Did you get off Facebook? No. I'm looking for things to talk about. <laughs> You're the one being distracted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Get off Facebook. I'm not distracted. Okay, so let, let's talk about Irma for a little bit. Are we in an evacuation zone now? No. No, no, we are not in any evacuation zone. Our house was. <laughs> yes, yes, our our house was. And we evacuated. That's why we're here. And we got the hell out of here. All of our belongings are here. All of our animals are here. They're even here. I don't there. know what the latest zone is, but we are... We're far away from evacuation zones for the most part. We are... Right now, we're probably five miles away from any evacuation zone. We get a pretty good chunk then. So, yeah. And we have a retention pond out front that's bone dry. Yeah. And a uh, retention ditch on that side of the house. And, uh, and everything's kind of sloping down that way. Yeah. Except it, for that hill there. It <laughs> does, We are kind of at the bottom of the hill, 
But that's okay because that retention pond is friggin' huge. Yeah. Um, I hope and don't hope that we have rivers on either side of us. Because it's kind of... That's a hill there. Yeah. That that could be kind of interesting looking. Yeah, the water comes down on this side. Yeah. Like, that side of my yard drops dramatically. We might get a river. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a river there. But that's part of my moat. There's a moat. I have half a moat. That's one side, and across the street's the other side of the moat. Right. So, I need a drawbridge. Let's get on that. Guys, we have to go. We have to build a drawbridge. <laughs> we have to build a drawbridge. <laughs> and we need more ice. <laughs> you said before the show you were going to keep looking over there. Yeah. I keep looking over there. We have the laptop in front of us. Next the time, we should probably should have lined them up because... On the screen behind the laptop is the lag version of the show that's actually streaming. Yeah. But on the laptop, it's more accurate. We can see what's going on right now. Yeah. Pretty much. And I'm, I'm looking at it again. Hi. I know you're up there. I know your eyes are up there. So if I put Freddy on the laptop, will you not look at the laptop and anymore? <laughs> maybe. That's how long the lag is. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, you're like kind of obsessed with the lag. Last night when we were streaming, you were streaming. Really, you two were streaming. For once, I was not. Um, you were. Well, Jess was in your chat talking to you. Yeah, was basically getting mad because you weren't listening to her because I couldn't <laughs> see the chat, and because it was such a lag. You yeah. were playing Binding of Isaac, which that video will be up on the Best of the Realm channel in two days. I think on the 11th, that, that video should be up. The 11th or the 12th. Um, Brian Man over here, we've started the series, we said we would do it, of Brian playing games. Uh, we've got... Is that what it's called? Bri yeah, Brian Man plays games. Hey, we gotta come up with a better name. But, uh, PUBG? Played a round of that? Two rounds? Yeah, two rounds. I guess that was Jamie Lannister with a gun. I don't know. Not Jamie I, that was the first time I've ever streamed... By the way. Yeah. Uh, Wait, was... I thought you were on Corpse Drag. No. Nope. Really? Maybe you were going to be? I was going to be. Okay. I never made it. Right, and th those guys will have on this show eventually. And Wait. was that the first time I've played online? No, because I've played WoW. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> uh, first time playing PUBG. And Maybe there goes the cat. <laughs> Hurricane Irma has hit the house. <laughs> That's Hurricane Page. Oh, Hurricane God. Page. Go check on her, please. She's good. She's good. Oh, is she out? Yeah, she's out. Hopefully. She jumped in a box there and fell goes. over. There she is. And she's, she's losing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're good. Oh, that completely derailed. Oh, we were talking about streaming. Yeah. So you played PUBG, and then you we tried to play FTL. That yeah, didn't that work. I don't know what bad. happened. The right click just wouldn't work. Um, and then we play, you played Binding of Isaac, which you seem to enjoy. It was alright. It was alright? Yeah. Once I realized what game I was playing, I was like, wow, this is a very depressing fucking game. It really is! It, but, there's people who have thousands, if not millions of hours on YouTube playing that game. Like, a lot, a lot of hours. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I don't know. I couldn't play it for longer than I did. I know some people who put a lot of hours into it. Jake Kyle, J looking at the wrong thing. Juicy leg. Uh, <laughs> my buddy's gamer tag is J. His middle name Kyle with a C, G. So it looks like Juicy Leg. <laughs> so we all the time get. Why is his name Juicy Leg? <laughs> That's a good question. And yeah, and it's a little awkward whenever it comes up. Uh, so, oh, then we stream Besiege, which you're going to play again tonight, right? Besiege? Because we lost that video. If we have power, I might play it again. We should. That storm is still under Florida. Yeah, it's it still hasn't left Cuba. Yeah. So. They opened up Cuba, and that hurricane was like, I'm staying. Sorry, Cuba. So, yeah, sorry, Cuba. Sorry, oh, God. Miami, all of them, just please take the brunt of the damage. I think, I don't even know if Miami's getting too much right now. They probably will. 
I, I know they will, but... Well, actually, I don't know. Because it's kind of curving along the bottom of Florida. Yeah. And I love watching the news reports for it, because it's just like, we don't know what's happening! Oh, yeah. It's just like watching the election. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and, and we don't know what's going to happen until it's gone, basically. Yeah. And once it's gone, then we'll know for sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, mid yawn asked me a question. I'm so used to just me and him being on the podcast. I can leave. No, no, not at all. You and, you and. Freddie, don't fucking. Why would you even do that? You're not supposed to touch the things don't. on the table. This is our display. This is my pig. It's supposed to look like I normally have this table full of shit in the middle of my living room. 24 7. All day. Every, every day. day. <laughs> my little piggy. We gotta get you to play Minecraft. No. <laughs> Why not? No, I'm talking about Play Playing the server. No. I work enough. I work all day, every day. I don't want to come home, get on the computer, and work more. I just don't want to do it. You don't play Overwatch. You don't play Besiege, though? That seemed like a lot of work. No, because I'm building. Yeah. I'm constructing. Okay. And murdering. That's what I like to end murdering. Those are my three favorite things. Building, constructing, and murdering. So, yeah, we, we lost the video from that. I still have the audio. The whole stream is up on the channel. I mean, there's no audio at the end, but it's still scary. I'll, I'll be honest, it's scary. <laughs> you were becoming straight-up Dexter. Yeah. I don't You're know what the hell was happening to you. Uh, Maybe we shouldn't let you play that later. I don't know. It is fun, though. It is fun. Yeah. You basically build a... Siege engine. Yeah, death machine. Yeah. Just wooden blocks, ways to turn, spikes, circular saws, cannons. Yep. You have to add suspension so you can roll over the bodies easier. Um, <laughs> you were so spikes. excited when you found the suspension. You're like, yeah. I can run over their bodies now, but I flip over easier. And I found larger wheels. So maybe I need suspension with the smaller wheels. And more flamethrowers. The, the, the gears in his head are turning. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. I think he should play Overwatch. Uh, well, oh, did wait, you, did you play Overwatch? No, no he wouldn't even try. Did you watch me play in Battlefront earlier? Oh, that was, yeah, that was bad. And PUBG. Oh, that He's so just, bad. his reaction times are none. Zero. Yeah. We don't need everybody watching the stream. <laughs> You're going to make it I'm worse. I'm just checking it. <laughs> um, I think tonight we're going to get you to play... Doors? It's the name of the game. Question um, mark? Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe Is that I'll... like zombies? Exclamation mark. No. <laughs> no. Okay. We should try and record a board game, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's... Then we're no? in the realm. Why not? I don't know. I'm just not interested in that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not interested in games, and now there's a whole series of me playing video games. Yeah. Video mm -hmm. games. That's why it's funny. Um, God, what else do I have in the docket? Oh, one, one thing in particular that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up on the screen now. Nay, you didn't see it, I'm gonna edit that in. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> oh, stop, you're making work for me. Edit that. <laughs> I can, but I won't. I'm telling you. What? Oh, that's me. If you can do it, I can do it. See what I started? <laughs> Yours is gonna be like some embarrassing image of you. Oh, oh, aren't you? <laughs> look, look at all down the leg. Look at all those. <laughs> Can you erase all of that? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh oh, you just found a new map. Oh, shit, is that an update? No, that's all. Oh, okay. That's, that's the other thing, too. Rolling through Facebook and you see all the stuff about the hurricane. Yeah, from like Thursday? Yeah, it'll <laughs> be from Thursday. Or it'll be yeah. a completely different hurricane. It was from the last hurricane where the guy told everyone, you're gonna die. Your kids will die. Yeah, what the hell? Like, why Why are people like that? Because there's some people, All us somewhat included, that kind of can't leave. Well, like the governor said today, if you don't evacuate in the mandatory areas, we can't save you. There's no saving you. And that's understandable, in my opinion. They're not going to risk their lives. Yeah, why, why create more, I mean, more death? No. Yep. The ambulances will tip over, so you guys can just 
stay there and risk it. And there's two other hurricanes out there right now, or at least one other hurricane in a tropical there's storm? There's two. No, there's two. Jose Oy. and Katina. Uh, Katina or something is yeah. down by Mexico, like though. Katia. Whatever. Something. Whatever it is. Katia. We are not a news station. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> Spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, this is it's probably going to go out. Well, what day is it today? Today's Saturday. So I don't have to have this out till tomorrow. Well, do I put this podcast out? It's a new podcast, so I don't even know. Let's put it out tonight. <laughs> Maybe we just do we it lose when power we do it, tomorrow. Right? Uh, Future Heels comes out on Sunday normally. Tomorrow's yeah. Sunday, so you're good. Okay. And this one, uh, yeah, I guess this one I have been releasing on Saturday. So Future Heels is going to be a uh, video as well now? If, yeah, sure. Everything's going to be video? Everything's going to be video. It's also going to be audio. You can still find it on iTunes. I should trim my beard. <laughs> You were worried about that earlier. You're like, I gotta put my beard cream in. Which I didn't do. Do you really have beard cream? I do, yeah. It's not. It's supposed to make it softer. And more. And just better. Okay. Better. Better. (laughs) I like that. You can form it better. Because usually by the end of the work day or something, it looks kind of ridiculous. It looks kind of scruffy. Yeah. Uh, I think we might play some more Rocket League later. Uh, we should probably record us playing Battlefront. Yeah, because I had fun with that. No, Apparently it's a terrible game, but I don't like it. It's not good compared to the other ones. But I haven't played the other ones in years. Yeah. Battlefront 2 looks incredible. Um, yeah, we played Battlefront earlier. We played some of the skirmish and the two-player... Oh, well, we played a hero battle. It was a mission we did. Um... The hero battles were kind of underwhelming, though. Yeah. Well, we also did some really unbalanced ones. Yeah, in the in the original games, though, it didn't matter. Han Solo could totally kill Darth Vader. Right. He yeah. had enough abilities and enough power in his blaster to do that. Jen Erso, Jen Erso could not. Yeah, she well, maybe it's because right I was playing her, Jen Erso. I don't know. You came at me. I just deflected everything. Yeah. Yeah. Cat, be quiet. Oh, she's right there. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you acknowledge her and she won't be so upset. Cat. You don't have to stare Cat. at the camera the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't break contact. Must not break contact. Uh, Cat, we're Cat. having a staring contest? Yeah. Yeah, with the camera. Let's go. I will lose. With the audience. Because I will blink. Why are you tickling me, Kim? I'm not tickling you. Shit. <laughs> I lost. Yeah, I won. So I Did you? No. Did they concede? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. So. Oh. You played Overwatch though. For three hours, fifteen minutes ish. <clears throat> really? That was like two and a half hours. No, it was like one hundred and ninety something minutes. That's up on the channel as well. I don't know if I can do anything for three hours. I can sleep. You for stream three for like hours. an hour and a half. Yeah, it's half three hours, though. Fair enough. You probably could have played Besiege for, like, five hours. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, not really. How, what's the longest you built Gundams for? A while? Uh, a couple hours. Two hours, 59 minutes. Not yeah. quite three. Yeah, we're all the way. And also, I get up, and I, I take breaks. Yeah. I didn't take breaks. It's good to take breaks. Oh, I did go outside once with the dogs towards the end, and that's it. Yeah. And you wouldn't give me the game back. <laughs> I played one round as McCree. and I. We could have just played for two minutes while I was outside. No, I, I had to play as McCree. No, I love playing McCree. still lost. Love playing the cowboy. Uh, that's sure. I what? love playing the unicorn. You are playing a unicorn right now. Uh, we watched some more of the Mae Young Classic, which we'll talk about more on the Future Heels podcast. Yeah. Uh was very, very good so far. That tournament is great. Oh, yeah, I love it. But conversation for a later day. Yeah, we'll definitely talk also about that on the podcast. Like an hour from now. Probably. Um, Cat. Get down. Uh, so what, what, what have you watched anything, listened to anything? Well, we watched the, the ghost music video. That was awesome. <laughs> he is. Yep. What did you guys think of that? I enjoyed it. 
for reasons I probably shouldn't talk about on here. Because <laughs> it's a it's a good music video for a lot of reasons. It is a very good music video. Um, Ghost is also a very good band. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't think so, you're wrong. Every uh, I heard that like every band out right now thinks that they're like the next great yeah. metal act. Like apparently Metallica and. Uh, I think Black Sabbath and, well, Dave Grohl. Yeah. Uh, well, Dave Grohl has played in Ghosts. Yeah. He's At been least one once. of the, uh, the unnamed ghouls. Yes. Nameless ghouls. I think. Nameless ghouls. Okay. And uh, I I mean, we found them because Square Hammer was one of the, like, sponsored songs or whatever for an NXT pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. I, heard I, on, I heard them on the radio first. Fair enough. Yeah, that's how I found them. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, this is my jam. You were so happy about it. I cranked it up. And then I thought, yeah, that song sounds great. Was listening to it. Had her listen to it. And I didn't think you liked it. I didn't like them at first. I thought they were really weird. And then I go, I can't remember, I went out in the kitchen or something one day. And I was like, well, who are you listening to? And it was Ghost. I'm like, oh yeah, I like them now. That's why I had to play the music video twice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now she's a big Ghost fan. I want to see him live. And I've missed like three shows. At least two for sure. But I think I've missed three of their concerts in driving range. Are they... Do they have pretty expensive tickets? I know one was because they were playing with Iron Maiden. I think that was pretty expensive. Wow, yeah. I would imagine. But I don't think the other one was very expensive. I just couldn't get the day to go. Right. Like, I don't know if they're, like, on the level of, like, a, a Metallica or... I guess they're not on that level, obviously, but, like... They're uh, on the square, and <laughs> they're also on the level. <laughs> okay. And they're ready to swear right here, right now, before the devil. Okay. Good to know. But are they on a level of, like, him? <laughs> or... Oh, I'm, I think they're bigger than him. That's, uh, that's what I'm wondering, because him is pretty popular. They, I think they were popular. I don't think they are now. Yeah, no. Right. But so who would you equate their popularity to? Like a... Like a Rise Against? Where a lot of people are well aware of them? Or like a Linkin Park? Or like mm. it's... Everyone knows them? I would go somewhere around, around a Rise Against popularity. Yeah. Where like... Enough people know about them. Uh, enough people like them. Um... But more people should know them and like them. Yes. Like, I completely agree that more people should like... I should against. just knock my teddy off. Ah! Ah! Thanks. It's gonna eat you. This thing will eat you, cat. The cat does not understand why there's nine <laughs> of us in here. <laughs> Which reminds me to, of another song. But I don't know if I want to bring that song up. Go. Great. You just want to think it's a toy. Hey, get down. Why? You are such a good cat normally. Thank you. Oh, we got a laser pointer. I get the laser. <laughs> oh, another distraction for us. She's not the smartest. This is the Distractacast. Well, that's kind of what the show is. Yeah, that's true. It is kind of all Welcome over the to place. the show. So I see you're looking up something pretty interesting over there. Yeah, you're not supposed to say it until I bring it up, though. Oh, okay. Well, I'm because up. I don't know enough about it yet. So, well, give you give give them the pitch you pitched me and Kim. So I just found out once again, thanks to the radio, <laughs> that was probably a terrible idea. <laughs> you probably should not point the laser into the camera. <laughs> Did you really? No. <laughs> no. Of course not. <laughs> What's it mean? It's probably the cat. The cat pointed it. Why is she going on the TV? Kim, point it like over there, <laughs> away from all of this. I am. Away from all look, the electronics. Look, I've been having it over there. Your cat's Cameras, just dumb. mics, TVs. Uh, not a stack of games. Stack of games. She's, uh, I have it over here. Family photos, hurricane <laughs> supplies. <laughs> She's doing this. Extra laptop. Stupidity seat. act. Come over here. Look at this. Yeah, don't knock any of that over. She's not. She is rather nimble. And knock it all over. <laughs> so, I found out about... Uh, so, the radio station I listened to was giving away tickets. 
as they always do uh, around 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, they were giving away tickets to something called Wizard U. A new semester begins. And I lost my collective shit. And this is a Harry Potter thing. You aren't supposed to say that. God, but I, spoilers. I, I, was in, I was getting ready for work. And they said they're giving away tickets to Wizard U. A new semester begins. And it is a interactive event. For adult Harry Potter fans, and I le legitimately started like screaming in in the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god! I have to find out what this is. I need tickets for it. How much is it? Can I go?" Because I didn't try to win tickets because I was listening to the radio on my phone. There's a bit of a lag, and I'm sure they already give the tickets away. But lag again. Yeah, lag. It's a problem in life. life. So. I'm like, what is hurricane lagging? No, the hurricane needs to lag. No, it needs to hurry the hell up. Yeah, need to get out of here. Just get get it done and over with. Um, so I looked it up, and it's in Orlando, and they're doing. Uh, let me give you the exact dates. They're going to be in Tampa, or Ebor, uh, September 30th, and in <laughs> Orlando at the House of Blues, uh, October 1st. Um, Pittsburgh as well. Oh yeah, they're gaming. They Check tour. it out, man. They tour. They're gonna be in San Antonio, Houston, Austin, Dallas, New Orleans. Wait, they're not gonna be in Houston, are they? <laughs> yeah. Not anytime soon. October second. Yeah. Oh, it'll be cleaned up by then. Yeah, probably. Hopefully. Um. Now, why was I not supposed to say Harry Potter? Just because I was getting to it. I was building. Oh, it. I apologize. Um, you can check out wizarduofficial.com, because the magic starts with you. Now, here's a question, though. Is this actually a Harry Potter thing? Like, are they licensed to use all that? I do not think so. Okay. Um, did you ever spend your 11th birthday waiting for a magic school acceptance letter that never came? Notice magic school, not the magic school. So, no, it's, it's not official okay. or anything. Uh, if so, don't worry. Wizard U is the premier school for wizardry for late-blooming adult students of magic. Now, I'm a bit larger Harry Potter fan than you guys. I have... My only tattoo is the Deathly Hollows on my calf. Um, that I forget about. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> okay. It's something that happens. I'm all, almost every day, I'm like, oh yeah, I got a tattoo, that's right. Um, I've had it for years. <laughs> um, but from what I can tell, and what I've heard, um, I haven't looked into it too far. I know tickets for Orlando, at least, are only $15. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Is it I'm starting at $15, or are there bigger packages? Uh, it didn't look like it. I huh. think that was it. I think it was just, um, I think it was just $15. And it's going to be where? Where are we going The House of Blues, which is pretty cool. Oh, is it the one at Universal? Yes. Oh, so it's the one we went to for Let's Play Live. It's awfully close what? to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is great. Oh. So, fun. I wish I had Universal passes. Because I'll tell you right now, one of the best things in life is that frozen butterbeer from Universal Studios. That is... That's awesome. You had butterbeer at our Harry Potter party. I did. I Harry have, Potter party. I have been known to throw Harry Potter parties. You used to throw parties all the time. I love throwing parties. I hate people. You have a house now and you haven't thrown a party. You're fine. Wait, we're having a hurricane party right now. Hurricane party! Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, should we do a Harry Potter party? I would go. I went last time. So, I've read... What is the sixth book? There's seven books, correct? Yes. The sixth book is... The fifth... Oh, no. The fifth book is... Not, is it the Goblet of Fire? I need to dip out for a second. Okay. All right. Feast the Dog. The Goblet of Fire? Um, I believe that's the fourth. Sorcerer's Stone. Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. What number did I say it was? 
Four? Goblet of Fire is four. Okay. Fifth is... Uh... Oh, man. You got I'm, a laptop in front of you. I, I should know this, obviously, because I have the Are tattoo. they over on the shelf? Um, no, because we put them away. No, I think she took those with her. Okay. My fiance evacuated and took books with her. She did. She also took your small child. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually really glad they left. Because uh, we were staring down a Category 5 hurricane. We were. Not going to lie, last night, I was a little worried. Even if things anybody. aren't... But... If things are pretty bad, but we're going to be fine, she would still be losing it. Yeah. The hurricanes are not fun to go through as a child. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I always enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah. Um, because we never... We've... I mean, we've been hit, but not, not too bad. And I've lived in Florida my whole life. I pull up the wiki for Harry himself. Oh. Uh, all right. So, um, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix. Okay. And then? Half-Blood Prince. And then Deathly Hollows. Okay. So, I read... Oh, wait. What's the fifth one? I don't have to count. Three, four, five. The Order of the Phoenix. I think I read three quarters of that and then never finished the series. I've also watched half of the Deathly Hallows because it's two parts. I watched part one. So you haven't completed the series in any sense. Tonight, we should watch The Cabin in the Woods, and then we should watch part two of the Deathly Hallows. Okay. Because <laughs> part two is the best. I'm sure. Part one is a little slow. Right. But that's okay because we get more Harry Potter. Yeah, you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, I haven't seen Cabin in the Woods. I'm, I've meant to. Because it sounds cool. Kim apparently doesn't really like it. I've heard it's not a horror movie. It is a movie about horror movies. Which is intriguing, and I want to see it. It's... I would say it's a thriller. Yeah. It's an I'm, action thriller. Okay. It's just one of the most clever movies I've seen ever. And that's what I've heard, and that's why I want to see it, so... Yeah, we're going to watch that tonight. Um... Alright, so anyway, I have seen all of the movies many, 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 many times. I have read most of the books, only because I'm a very slow reader. Um, I, should, I will listen to the audiobooks. Is though. there another one coming out? Uh, they, isn't she releasing another Harry Potter book? Uh, well, the, the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. What is that? That's the play. And they've oh. released it as... Uh, but is it book. in book format? I think it's the script. Yeah. I It's... No, that's in the closet. I, I saw that. So, that we... Of course, we own all of them. But, um... <laughs> then, go, go, keep going about the Wizard You thing, though. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them too is coming out soon. I need to watch that movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. Oh. It's so good. It is so good. We're going to be watching a lot of movies tonight, I think. Might as well. Uh, Jake Kowalski is my favorite character. And they have confirmed that he's coming back in the second one. And I didn't think he was going to. So I'm super excited. I'm super interested in this American Wizard thing. Like that's, that's pretty interesting. The thing I'm talking about? Or uh, just American Wizardry in general? American Wizardry in that world. Yeah, That's the thing. I, I super appreciate about Harry Potter is the world building. Right. That's why I love Star Wars. Oh. That's why I started to get into Gundam. Yeah. That's why, Except you know, they have so many universes. Like, even... Universe I? Huh? Universe I? Multiple universes? No, it's universes. Universe I don't know. Um, and even, like, Rick and Morty... Morty. There's so many things about that show... That, like, I was watching it in an episode with hey, her. There's, there's three people watching right now. It's oh, really? probably this one and this one. And one other person. Maybe. Um, I don't know if it works like that. I but guess. Rick and Morty, like, I was re-watching some episodes. Or maybe it was last night when it just randomly came on. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like, oh, hey, there's that thing. Wait. This episode was before that other. What the hell? Like, yeah. <laughs> there's things planted and supposedly there's things planted for, you know, the next two seasons and all kinds of theories and just the world building is amazing for such for such a dumb show. 
<laughs> yeah. They I've, could get away with not doing that. I've heard it's a I've heard it's a smart show for smart people. I've also heard it's a dumb show for smart people. It always ends up for smart people. That's why I think it's a dumb show for I smart enjoy people. It. Cause it is dumb. But it's like oh, it's yeah. clever. It's clever. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not overly It's not overly smart in a way, but it's very clever. Right. It's not beating your head or not beating you over the head with like facts and it's not it's not uh it's not like a like a political show. It's not the daily show where it's like funny, but you really kind of have to be in on it. Right. You have to be knowing what's going on. Yeah. There most episodes of Rick and Morty are just hilarious. Yeah. And those are the episodes we need to get her to watch. We need to get her to watch Total Rick All and the one with Jerry Daycare and, and the Mr. Meeseeks episode. Mr. Meeseeks. Oh, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. And just, because that's what happened to us, is we ended up watching some of the best episodes of Wes's house, and Nerd Night, yeah. and then just got into the whole thing. Yeah. And that I think that's, like, the best way to do it. I think so. Um, but back to the uh, Wizard yeah, How do we get on Rick and Morty again? I don't know. Everything comes back to Rick and Morty. Bubble up a dub dub! Rick and Rick and Rick! Wizard U. Sounds like something I would do if I had the money to do it. Basically, it t- oh, okay. I thought I'll just say fifteen bucks. No, it sounds like something I would produce right. if I had the money to produce it. Um, basically, they took a lot of my ideas I had for my Harry Potter party, okay. and they put them out in public sure. for people that show up. Like, because nobody showed up to the one I did. We had a, we had some people show up. We had a handful, but not enough. And we, what did we watch? Did we just watch a movie? Uh, yes. I did a screening for Mudbloods, a documentary on That's people right. who play real-life Quidditch. Right. Um, See, I would never, ever get to that level. Oh, I would. I would have to. Now, and that's what I was asking you about this thing. You said it's just a one-day thing? Yeah, it's all, I think it's only uh, a few hours. That's awesome. It starts at, I think it starts at like 3 p.m. or something. But I have, they basically, they turn a concert venue into a wizarding university. And if you're wondering what that concert venue looks like, go on my channel and check out the Let's Play Live video. Oh, that's right. I've never been there. It's I've never been there. Huge. The but basically, they turn it into the university. And they have different courses you could go through. Uh, they do have, it is still a concert. Uh, they do play wizard rock music. Uh, they have people playing Wizard Rock music. If you don't know what Wizard Rock is, look it up. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Because there is a... Honestly, there's a lot of bad Wizard Rock. But there are some very, very clever... I just love that Wizard Rock exists. Me too. <laughs> there's a do- the whole documentary on it. It mainly follows Harry and the Potters. Um, which they're good. I mean, it's, it's clever. Who's the best Wizard Rock band? Uh, Ministry of Magic. Hands okay. down. They're so good. Um, I mean, they, I think they do a lot of cover songs, and those are my favorite. Uh, like they'll, oh, I can't remember the name of the song. Is it like known rock songs? Like modern rock songs or classic rock songs? The, that they cover yeah. and like put a Harry Potter twist on? Oh, okay, I'll just say, what is it, like, how are no, they? No, they, so I guess it's not a cover, it's a, what is it, parody? Would it be a parody? Probably, yeah. They parody modern songs. That's how they would get away with it. They were like pop songs at the time. It's been years since I really listened to them. But I knew they, they were really good. I think Rubius and the Hagrids were really good. But they only had a couple songs. Who's Rubius? Find. Rubius. Hagrid. Oh, okay. That's his first thing. Wait, everybody's just Harry and the Potters, Rubius and the Hagrid. <laughs> Nymphadora and the Tonks. Like, <laughs> who? Nymphadora. And she gets pissed off. We call her uh, Lupin's wife. Lupin sounds familiar. Is that the skinny guy? Yeah. Okay. Um, See, I know some stuff. <laughs> so I'm going. I'm, I've got their courses pulled up. Uh, they have a dueling club, which is awesome. I would love to see how they do that. Cause I've tried to figure that out for years. Cause I've always wanted to do a dueling club at one of my parties. 
So I need to go just to do research to yeah. figure out how to do one so I can bring it back here and we have our own version we'll of do, it. Yeah, we'll do a Future Villains one. Yeah, because we can run events under the Future Villains name. Oh, shit. I've just given you fuel. Future <laughs> Villains for <laughs> oh, Jeez. Because I did, I ran events under the Society of Nerdy Individuals. Right. Sony, which was great. It was a great name. Clever. I'm clever. But, um, and I think I ran, the, this was the last event I did under the Sony thing, so I wasn't happy with the turnout. But we were giving away, I think, I don't think we charged for anything, um, which also could have been one of the problems. I've heard people that, don't like free. That was something I gave you a lot of hell for. Doing it for free? Yes. Yeah. So I put so much work into it. And money. And money. I didn't put too much money into it. I really didn't. It was under $100. <laughs> That's still a lot of money. Well, under $100 to produce a, a public event wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I, I don't think I really helped the book. We did it in a bookstore. I don't think I helped the bookstore too much. They're still there? They are still there. Actually, we're closer. They're right down the street. We do need to go check that place out again. And she would probably let us do another... Buccaneers. Buccaneers. In, if you're in the Citrus County area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to this. Back to this. A dueling club. I need to find out how they're doing it. I'm sure I can find a video, but I want to see it live. No, but do you get to participate? Yes, I okay. believe, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, uh, these are all things you go around the venue and you uh, you just interact with the people. I think they have, like, actors who are faculty. Sure. Um, which is really cool. Um, so I would have to find actors, but... I don't know any actors now. They've all moved away. Um, I thought you were engaged to the greatest actress of all time. Well, there's that, I guess. <laughs> but but there are... Her. But I used to know a lot of actors. Because I, I was never... Like, I took the drama class. I never did anything in drama, necessarily. But I do all the drama kids. So, if I ever needed actors or something, I could get them. I act on the podcast every week. <laughs> I act like I like you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I act like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that too. Uh, and then the next thing is uh, Wizard Life. You get to choose your wizard fraternity, which I think is kind of cool. It's not houses necessarily. Okay. Um, not really sure about that, but it sounds cool. Uh, witchy fashion. Uh, I guess there's some sort of fashion show, which is great because, I mean, Harry Potter costumes are usually, you know, the, the school uniform. But there's so many other things you could do that are could be really cool. Yeah. Like, I've always liked the idea of auras, like Mad-Eye Moody, and just, you know what auras are? They're basically like the secret police of the uh, magic world. That sounds really familiar. Uh, I think Harry Potter wanted, like, his career path was to be an aura. What, what do they just change the way they look or something, or... Huh? No, they're just, they're like magic police, kind of. Like, okay. secret police. Is it aura, I think, like, a vibe or whatever? Yeah, that's just what they're called. I'm not okay. sure why they're called that. I mean, I'm sure if I read more of the books. I'll, I, I need to listen to the audiobooks. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, be a good idea. If Audible would um, sponsor us, I'll listen to it on there. <laughs> uh, and then we can tell you to go to audible.com slash... You know. Ghost of the Realm. <laughs> yeah, or it's slash. Like, they're they're going to get a lot of hits now. Audible.com slash Ghost of the Realm. They're and like, who is this guy? They're going to be like, oh, we need to sponsor this guy. Yeah. The three people watching us will there go you there. Go. Do that. Go to Audible.com slash Ghost of the Realm. They'll get some weird pings. Yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. And then they just contact us. and like, hey, uh, are you guys doing promos for us? <laughs> We're like, yeah, we figured that was the best way for you to sponsor us. You should probably uh, back pay for six months. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can't find anything from then. Um, all right, so, yeah, like I was saying, uh, cool costumes from Harry Potter. Um, I saw a dragon mask at the Spirit Halloween store. Like, whole, like, head, dread, like, badass dragon. Oh, wow. I was like, that would be cool. I don't know. Hungarian horn tails or whatever. Potions class. <clears throat> um... Oh, potions class taught by the folks at Wand Shop with two P's and an E dot com. 
Um, I'm going to go check that out in a second. Uh, I always did potion classes in my parties. Now this looks interesting. Wizard poem? Yeah. You know what that is, right? What does that mean? Pretty sure it's beer pong. Oh. Because it is an adult event. It is 18 and up. Or 21 and up, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's alcohol at that place. Yeah. Ask him. She had lots. Um, I do know they, they're serving special cocktails. Uh, that's what they said on the radio. And then there's Wizard Rock, which is you know we talked about earlier. Uh, Divination, um, where you can go and basically it's like fortune telling. Divination is like the Harry Potter equivalent of a fortune yeah, yeah. teller. Flying Club, it says grab your broomsticks and get ready. I'd really like to see what the hell that is. Because I used to have, and I need to, I want to build another one. I did build another one. I used to have a really, really badass Harry Potter broom that I built myself. I had two at home. Handmade, though? No. Made probably in China. Bought them at Walmart. Yeah, see, they're, they're hanging right up on a rack. I took mine, I cut like a limb from a tree down on this one. And shaped it and stained it and did the wood burning and everything. And um, I'm just like, we've, we've talked about this before, I'm just not a crafty person. I love this crafting. This sounds like way too much work. Crafting is my life. And then I made one for... My, my crafting is my life. Uh, then I made one for my daughter out of PVC pipe to make it more like the... Uh, I think it was the Nimbus 2000. That was more streamlined. Oh, I remember you doing that. And it turned out really well, but I think we threw it away in the move. She didn't really play with it too much. But it turned out pretty cool. <clears throat> and I wouldn't mind making another one. But it did turn out pretty heavy. And then there's uh, Transformations. Uh, I don't know how they do that. <laughs> oh, be careful to pick the correct body part to transform. So... What? Body mods? Maybe? Maybe Tattoo Artist? Or Tattoo Artist? Already then. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then I was looking through the faculty. They've got some pretty interesting people that look like they're faculty. And I'm pretty sure, um, I'm going to butcher his last name, uh, Dale. I'm just going to call him Dale. Um, looks awfully, awfully familiar. <clears throat> and um, let's not confuse this with the Harry Potter LARP that a lot of people know about. Cause this sounds kind of like a LARP, but it's more, it's definitely more... Uh, an experience. An experience, more for kind of everybody, not necessarily for people who want to. Yeah, because the whole LARP thing is it's over like a week, right? Yeah, it's. I think a it's a days, full week. Um, there is an American one. Um, See, that I wouldn't do. <clears throat> no? No. I was, I was thinking about going. It was a little, it was pretty expensive, but it includes, you know, your food for a week, housing for a week. Uh, and it was up in, uh, I think, one of the Carolinas, North Carolina, I think. And we, got, I, we got a third, new third co-host. <clears throat> um, I did, then I lost 100% interest when I got to all the uh, the PC stuff. Politically oh, correct. Yeah. Which, what was that? Like, what was it saying? Um, oh, just where you wear your gender on your... Tag right. There's special hand signals you make because the game is played through hand signals basically, and there's special hand signals you make if someone catches you calling someone the wrong gender, and that yeah. was enough for me. Was yeah, enough for me to say no thanks. Much. I was like, that's a bit much. They um, hate you and probably get in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I don't want that, but. This sounds very interesting. It's fifteen bucks. Yeah, it's fifteen dollars. I can handle that. Now I can only get that day available. I forget what day it was. Let me uh, let me double check it. Let me it is. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'll find it. Like up. It. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Is um, it on the website? Yeah, I don't think it is. I think you have to. What happens if you cast spell? spell? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you can donate. Oh, cool. After this show, they're going to donate a portion to a charity chosen by the participants in the event. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. It's for um, a charity either to do with 
animal rights, literacy, human rights, or environmental action. And the charities are local or chosen locally. In each city that they visit. That's wow. pretty cool. Why uh, is it under cast spell? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But that's pretty cool. I wish they would list the Wizard Rock bands that are playing. Oh, they might on the website. Let me check. Um, oh, Tampa and Orlando. Yep. Tampa is at the Ebor Ritz or Ritz Ebor, whatever it's called. The Ritz Ebor. Um, and it is from 2 to 8 p.m. Saturday, uh, September 30th. Sunday, October 1st, uh, from 2 to 8 p.m. in Orlando um, at the House of Blues. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a Sunday. Oh, I can go to that. Okay. I always have Sundays off. And it's only till 8. So we can get back here at the latest, 10 or 11? Yeah. I we might not even have to take that Monday off. Probably not. I might do it anyway. <laughs> and then maybe that Saturday, depending on a family situation, yeah, I will go down to the Kirby Family Farm to their haunted train ride. And haunted house. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> what are you talking about? I haven't talked to you about this yet. Do you want to work in a haunted house? Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're interested in working in a haunted house in the Central Florida area, let us know. Um, the lawn guy. We do an ads on my podcast for. <laughs> plug, plug, plugs. Um, like Audible, now this farm? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I believe the farm is in Williston. They have a train ride. They, you, I found out about them because their Christmas train ride looks pretty cool. I've still never made it out there because it's pretty far from here. But I know the guy who, I don't know if he runs it or if he's like assistant runner okay. of the thing. Um, but he he's asked me the last few years if I wanted to do it. And I do. Because I like getting dressed up. And I love Halloween especially. So, and I think it pays. So, it's definitely no, worth just drive out there. Yeah. Um, I think I think you said it pays minimum wage. I don't know though. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, to see what I'm doing. But yeah, I would like to get out there sometime this year. I can be like a dead nerd and just blah. Scary, right? Mm, no. But. Uh, would make for some pretty good content. Ah! Not scary. Not scary? No. Not scary. Um. So yeah, Wizard U looks pretty interesting. And, uh, I really hope, I really hope we can make it out there. I hope this hurricane doesn't wreck our entire lives and we have to spend the next everything fixing it. The next everything? Yeah. Next yeah. everything fixing it. That's why I haven't, I didn't buy tickets. I've got an Amazon order waiting to go through because I don't know, oh, damn it. Because we're so uncertain about what's happening in the next few days. Yeah. But there are games I would like to order. And, desktops? Uh, no, I'm not getting a desktop <laughs> yet. I'm thinking about getting a desktop. Probably the beginning of the year. Maybe you might see more Brian plays games. Mm, I might, you know, I'll probably end up doing mm. taking that desktop money and buying some board games. Just fuck Buy a desktop. <laughs> the board. How did you change? You were like so. I gotta get you to go play more desktop games. The the tabletop master race. No, that's not a thing. It is. I dropped my cap. So you're, you're gonna that. spend like a thousand dollars on board games? Oh, would you not? I will. I'll do it today. Um, Let's do it. Uh, yeah. I wonder how much more games are worth. I don't know. A few hundred at least. Um, but I will tell you about the tabletop game I plan on buying next. What's that? After I buy Mr. Meeseek's Box of Fun. Oh, okay. That's what I thought you were talking about. No, because I am going to buy that for sure. But I'm still a little bit on the fence about this one, and I'll tell you why. I am excited and probably going to pre-order... Star Wars oh, yeah. Legion. 
Uh, it's the new Star Wars tabletop game that they debuted at Gen Con 2017, which was like not that long ago, I think. So, what's the big difference between this and uh, the Assault one? Uh, this. Uh, Imperial Assault. Imperial Assault, yes, thank you. I've not played either. But what I can tell so far is Imperial Assault is more like a board game. Okay. Uh, where you kind of play heroes, hero characters. There might be some supporting characters, I'm not sure. But I think everyone kind of just plays like a hero character and... Yeah, you know, it's like a board game. There's a cat behind you, by the way. Yeah, I feel it. Okay. Um, now, Star Wars Legion is a tabletop game. It is like Warhammer 40K or right. War Machine or Hordes or anything like that. Um, and the interesting thing, the very interesting thing, is it's put out by Fantasy Flight Games, which makes incredible games, as we know. Makes X Wing. Yep, they make X-Wing, they make all the role-playing games, like in uh, Edge of the Empire. Mages of Madness? Uh, I believe they made Mages of Madness. We have a lot of fantasy flight games. Yeah, it, they just publish a lot of really great games. Yeah. Um, but they also published the Warhammer board games. And oh, really? Yeah. Uh, like That's I, the one that Wes has. Is it Space Hulk? Is that what it is? No, I think it might be Relic. I, I don't know. Oh, it could be. Oh, yeah, I think it is Relic. But yes. Fantasy Flight... And, so Fantasy Flight and Games Workshop had a working relationship. Fantasy Flight would, build, would produce their board games. Right. So now that partnership is over. So I think that was keeping Fantasy Flight... From producing tabletop games, the cat is probably distracting <laughs> any of our viewers. Um, She's more entertaining than we are. Okay, stop being a distraction. You too. But the interesting thing what this is, is they came out with Fantasy Flight put out Rune Wars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that's the name. Rune Wars. It's a fantasy style uh, tabletop game. Okay. And, you know, kind of like original Warhammer. Uh, you know, not 40,000. Does it bother you when people say 40,000? Does it say 40K? Uh, I, I don't care. It bothers me a little bit. I don't know. I, I know what they're talking about. It still bothers me. I don't know why. But, Fantasy Flight has, hadn't come out with a, you know, a futuristic sci fi tabletop game until now and they did it with their Star Wars license I watched a video the other day where someone said that this is possibly the biggest most important game that's ever been created really yeah and, you know maybe yeah because it's going to bring in a lot of people into the tabletop gaming world yeah because you can make the argument with X-Wing though um yeah, but that's still not. Yeah, I guess. But even then, you're not playing with characters necessarily. You've got its ships. Yeah, I mean there are character specific cards. Yeah, but having like a Darth Vader card is a lot different than having a Darth Vader miniature. I think. Yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong, I I do like X Wing, but. And I do find it interesting that, you know, we have Imperial Assault and now we have Legion. And I wonder if it's kind of the same deal as we have X-Wing and then we had Armada. I think so. I mean, it's kind of messed up that you put all this money into this game and then it's like, oh, we're coming out with one pretty much just like it, but slightly different. Yep, and I think that's a lot of people's problem. Yeah. Another problem that... This uh, is the thing, though. Everyone had that problem with Armada and then thought everything anyways. Yeah. People will buy it. It's Star Wars. Vote with your wallet, people. Mm -hmm. If you really have a problem with it, don't buy it. But don't have a problem with Legion, because it's going to be badass. Um, a lot of people also have the problem with there's no board. You know, Legion doesn't have a board. Problem. It's not a problem. Uh, but people are complaining about, you know, they have to make their own terrain and make their own board. 
But that's what tabletop gaming is. But but fans of Floyd should listen to that and then make terrain and make bars. And terrain make comes in the starter pack, from what okay. I understand. So they probably won't make terrain. Yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of terrain. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be some moisture evaporators. Dude, Star Wars, there's so much stuff they can make. And that's what I'm excited about, because that's so much stuff I can make. Yeah. So I'm um, crafty. We should sell it. We should have a Future Villains eBay page where we just sell our stuff. First, we got to have Future Villains DIY videos of you making it. No, because then people see how to make it and they don't want to buy it. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they're man. lazy. They're like me. They're lazy. They don't want to make it. True. Or they're bad at it or whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm the best at it, but I love I'm doing it. And I'm pretty good at it. I'm real bad at it. <laughs> so I don't do it. Um, I'm real bad at Minecraft. I killed our server this week. Yeah. Put I iron, that's bad. copper, and seared stone in a smeltery. Every time I was going to use it, it crashed. And then it went to go empty the iron out, and it killed the server. Well, Just straight up we'll killed break it. The game. Yeah, and now there's a message on our server, a little subtitle thing that says, don't kill the server. <laughs> so, got the message loud and clear, Wes. Alright, let's see, um, what else we got on there? We're still doing alright? Yeah, I think we're doing alright. Alright, we're down to one viewer. Oh, no! Sorry, we were not more entertaining, people. I think we're entertaining. That's all um, that matters. Yeah. Oh, uh, what else is there? I think there's something else I wanted to... Oh, the reason, the only reason I haven't pre-ordered ordered Star Wars Legion yet. It's expensive? Um... How much is it? That's not really holding me back. The the core set, which is a two player starter set, I believe is somewhere between seventy and ninety. Okay. And that I believe that gives you a four hundred point army, and I think they said a standard tournament army is going to be eight hundred points. So it gives you like half an army to start with. Okay, so it's not like a two player kit. It is a two player kit. Oh, okay. You get rebels and, and buyers. Gotcha. And, but each side is 400 points. We need a Sabine character. We need a lot. Yeah. But right now, they've all, I believe they've only showed uh, original trilogy. Sure. Uh, but I, she would be in there. So, I don't know. We'll see. And by the way, season four? Yes. Comes out on my birthday, October 16th. Nice. I think so, I finished three. I'm not sure. I have. If not, there's just a couple more episodes. Boy, I, I check. binged on that show. We haven't talked about that show on here. No. We should talk about that show. We should talk about that show when I refresh myself on it. Oh, bit. okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sabine is, like, one of my favorite characters. I'm so glad I found this mask. I need a black um, series for it. Yeah, I saw, or we saw you showed me that you were thinking about, just trying to watch it. Were you thinking about getting your daughter, uh... The Sabine, not the Sabine, the Le Leia Barbie. Yeah. And the Sabine, and the Sabine one, Sabine. like, just looked weird. It's the Forces of Destiny, and which I believe is a YouTube series I had that came out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's any good. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't really heard anything about it, so that's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. I haven't heard anything bad either, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but the reason... Going back to the reason I haven't pre-ordered, is oh, right. they're not 28 millimeter miniatures. No. Fantasy Flight. Why'd you do that? <laughs> well, why is that a big deal? Because Warhammer and D&D &D and most other miniatures and miniature games, they're all in that 28 millimeter scale. So, you know, you can use, you know, terrain for different games you can use depending on what game you're playing you use miniatures in different games right um these miniatures are larger are a little larger than the imperial assault miniatures huh. um that they did that on purpose yeah of course for sure um but they're th and they're 35 millimeters 32 to 35 millimeters somewhere in there and so that's that really throws the scale off. Yeah. You really can't use Warhammer terrain with 
Star Wars Legion. Yeah. Again, they did that on purpose. But that's dumb because they, they're probably not going to make that much more money off of that. Never, I don't know. You I mean, like me, don't want to make terrain. Yeah, but are you going to shell out the fifty, eighty, hundred dollars for the the buildings? Me, no. But other people will. Well, yeah, because I can make it for you. But uh, yeah, the terrain is usually fairly expensive. Um, and I don't know. I just I don't think it's worth it because I could build it all day every day. Right. But I don't know. You know, I I think making it the same scale as most of the other games. And they said, the, the video I was watching, uh, someone, they mentioned that uh, they, they were able to get more detail into the characters. Huh. Um, a lot of Star Wars characters, they don't need to be larger to get the detail in. Now, I will admit that the Star Wars miniature game, they could have been more detailed. But... Talking about the old one? Yeah, the old one. The, the you already got a ton of miniatures for? Yeah. Where yeah. are those? Garage? They're in the garage somewhere. You know, I had a bunch. I yep. gave them back to you. Yep, they're in there somewhere with all my other minis for all my other games. Uh, but we can use those. F oh, okay, here's a good example. We can use those if we play Edge of the Empire. Right, which we need to do. Yes, because I have the starter set for it. Or we can use Star Wars Legion figures to play uh, Edge of the Empire. Right. We can't use both. Right. That's pretty irritating. Because they, they're, it sounds like they're just large enough for that not to work. You can use your imagination. Yeah, you can. Do anyways. But it's not cool, guys. Like, there's no reason for it. It's like, when did you get so tall, Jen, or so cheap? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. That would be pretty funny to have, like, what's something that's pretty tall? Like, I think Super Battle Droids are pretty tall. Yeah, I mean... And having, yeah. like, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi towering over him. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, if it was the other way around, like, if it was, if it was like, a Wookiee, or just, like, one of the the characters that are legit larger than everyone yeah. else, like, okay, maybe a little. But, I mean, they're still going to be pretty noticeably larger. It is unfortunate. Yeah. But... I don't think that's going to stop me from getting it, just because I think it, I think it'll be a great game. Uh, it looks like it plays well. It looks like it mixes a lot of X-Wing and Edge of the Empire, and apparently some Armada rules, too. Okay. Um, it definitely had some X-Wing elements in there. Oh, yeah. The lock-on and the dodge and that kind of stuff. And I like their dice. A lot of people have a problem with the dice system. The colored dice and the symbols instead of the numbers. With symbols you gotta get used to. I mean, most games introduce that type of thing. Hey, cool. Yeah, and I think they're pretty universal throughout all the games. But why? Like someone else said in one of the videos, um, you know, if you have a really cool set of dice, you don't get to use that in Legion. Yeah, which it's on purpose. Yeah, they can come out with their own cool yeah. sets of dice, or you can make your own sets of dice. Really. Because I know in at least Edge of the Empire, they give you stickers to put on two other dice. Oh, wow. So, like, you get, a, like, the polyhedral dice, uh, your D&D &D dice, and then you put these stickers on. So, you, I mean, you're kind of ruining your dice, but you could go get a set of dice to use for it. Um, and I think that would work fine, too. And they could, they'll probably end up doing something like that with this. But there are there are three color dice for a reason. Yes. But also in Edge of the Empire, they're colors for a reason too. But now at the same time, you know those cool dice that you love so much, you bought it from a cool dice company you love so much. Yeah. And that cool dice company can now make these dice. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't yeah. know if that's a licensing thing. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a third party dice. Sounds it's popular enough. I ha also, I have seen uh, icons. Do we need to mute their phone? Nope, because we're in a hurricane situation, and I need to be able to answer my phone. Taking this call? If something happens. Yes, I'm taking this call. All right, and looks like we're alive again. Yep, we're back. Here we are. 